well, this morning, when I say this morning, I mean about 2 a.m. this morning. I was, I started smoking meat last night about 8 o'clock. And, uh, of course, I was keeping a pretty close eye on it. And, uh, it got pretty late in the night. I don't know, it was like 12.30 or so. And, uh, I must have fallen asleep. Well, when I come out to my smoker, this is what I found. Yep. There was literally flames coming four feet high out of the top of that thing. And what happened was, all the fat had dripped down. You can see, see the fat line here? But some of it got in here. Anyway, that caught on fire. And then all the grease, all the grease on the bottom caught on fire. And then as soon as it caught on fire, then we had a whole bunch of grease. Anyway, uh, it got down to about 30 degrees last night. So I just opened everything up and let it cool off. And uh, she's pretty hard here this morning. So I'm going to do what I can to salvage what I can, but... Words of wisdom, that is the last time I will smoke my meat like this. I still say a wood smoker does the best job, and this one is just a little bit too small anyway, so it's going to get retired. Not only that, from the heat, it... Warped the doors, melted, actually melted the wheel off. I don't know, I might try and salvage it and use it for something. But for right now, I got a few hours here before work. I'm just going to try and salvage what I can and uh, go from there. So these are, so there's bacon, 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 bacon. These were actually bacons that were bigger than these and pork chops all right i'll show you what i uh what i'm able to salvage here but and listen crap happens so you just got to make the best of it and move on learn from it all right i'll get back with you here we go all right, well, in the aftermath of my nuclear explosion I had in my smoker, so I was able to salvage almost all the meat in some form. So these, instead of being pork chops, which the camera doesn't show, but they're pretty small, are going to end up being just like pork chop rice. Um... The bacon actually, well, surprisingly, turned out halfway decent. So, overall, I'd say it was probably a, boy, 50% loss. But, for the most part, we were able to salvage a good bit of it. So, that's what's important. This is all bacon. Of course, it's not smoked, but it'll just be cured, uh, cured unsmoked bacon, which is almost against my religion, but that's what we got, so that's what we're going to have to do. All right, well, here that just goes to show you. 
It's a little bit hard work and still salvage it. All right, we got to go get going here. I got to get to work. Here we go.